Alright guys, um, in the last video I showed you how to pull an image from the internet, uh, convert it over to a vector, and then convert it to the format that the laser cutter reads. Now I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the laser, uh, change all the settings, and actually send the code to it. So I have three different cameras set up here in what is temporarily the famous mods workshop. and. We're going to just go through step by step um, all the way from the computer to the actual construction of it. So, to start off, uh, you should have downloaded the software already. Uh, this is the actual laser cutter software. You're going to want to hit Start Windows, uh, this batch file. And I go more into this in the Instructable too, in case this doesn't sound familiar. Um, so, we're going to let this boot up here. Uh, it takes just a second. And while this is booting, I'm going to go around and actually plug in the laser cutter. So, first, what we want to do is we want to plug the USB into your computer for the laser cutter uh, to get the communication going. After your USB is plugged in, we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the main power switch. And the laser cutter is now up and running. You can see that it went from 3 to 5 volts. Uh, this just shows that it's at full power here. So I'm going to set this back down. Now that the laser cutter is up um, and the software is now up to, we need to actually connect the laser cutter. So you need to find what COM port um, is connected to your computer through. So for me, it's COM20. I'll make sure the baud rate is set to um, uh, 115,000. And then we're just going to open the communication. Um, it takes just a second. So you know you're connected when you see connected to COM20 or whatever your COM port is, and it'll show you this little message right here. This is very important. If you're not getting this, there's most likely something wrong uh, in the code that you actually sent to the internet. So now that we have this software up, uh, we need to adjust the speed settings for the laser. So to start out, uh, you can send dollar sign for help, or you can just skip right to dollar sign, dollar sign. And that's what opens up this giant help menu here of all the options that are already sent to the laser cutter. And what we're going to be looking at is these two guys right here. We need the X max rate and the Y max rate. And these are millimeters per minute. And this is, um, this is basically how you set the speed of your laser cutter. This is all you have to change after you have everything else set up here. So uh, what we want to change is we want to change this 110 and 111 to, from 1, this is the last thing I was doing, I was cutting to 100 for the robot that I did in the tutorial prior to this. And it's as easy as this, for a dollar sign, 110 equals 100. And you should get this confirmation, this uh, OK right here, that means it's set. We're going to do the same thing for 111, for a dollar sign, 111 equals And just to double check and make sure that the settings actually took, go dollar sign, dollar sign again, and then read off the new settings. And you should now see that these two values have changed to uh, uh, 100 or what you set it for. So now that we have the laser cutter set up, uh, there's one more thing to do software wise. We need to actually load in the file that we, did, that we made before. So I'm just going to browse back to. And realize I set this, this speed the same as in settings. So when you're converting um, your vector using Inkscape, you want to make sure you set the speed the same as what you're setting the settings down here. I'm going to open him up. And now you can visualize what you're actually cutting. So there we go. So you can see the path that it's going to take uh, the image is up now. Now, remember we did it 5 by 5 before. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut 5 inches by 5 inches. I just threw down, and as you can see right here, I just threw down a big blank piece of wood. Uh, this is strictly for instructional purposes. Um, if you're doing something more, uh, something you need a little more accuracy in, it's probably going to take a little more time to set up. I just threw it over there. So now that we have, 
now that we have our settings set here, what we're going to do, the next step is to dial in the laser. So when I say dial in, I mean we need the focal point of the laser to be right on top of the wood. That way we get the, the darkest burn for what you're doing. And you can also set um, a thickness of some sorts, uh, depending on how wide your laser is. And I will show you how to do that right now. So let's come over here to this and this is the DC to DC power converter right here so you have your voltage and you have your amps um, obviously there's no amps running yet because the laser is off but what I'm gonna do there are two pots on top here one is for voltage and the other is for your current so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the current and I'm gonna dial it way way down like um, basically as far down as this will allow me to go that way when I turn on the laser initially it's not going to start burning right away and we're not going to ruin the piece of wood that we're trying to etch into so this is should be just about all the way okay. and now the next step over here is to turn on the laser manually so you can type I can set this down now. If you just type M4, it'll turn the laser on. You hit enter, and the laser will turn on. Type M5, it shuts it off. So I'm going to do M4 here. You should be able to see this turn on as soon as I hit enter. Okay. So the laser's on, but we're still at 1.14 amps, and that is a lot. So we're currently burning the wood. So now you can see me turn it down. You can actually see the current fall here. I'm going to take it down to uh, 0.04. There we go. So now the laser should be so dim that it shouldn't be burning the wood. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So we have just this little speck on the wood here. I'm going to move it over. You can see where it burned before because I had the current up too high. Um, now that we have this dot here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually focus the lens until that beam on the board right here is exactly what I want it. So you see how large it is now. Now I'm just going to start focusing it in till we get a nice tight dot here. Okay, now that should about do it. And if you can see, this is what I was twisting. Uh, it's just the lens on the front of the laser here. Okay, so now that we have uh, the lens set up, we have the focal point where we want it to. I'm going to go ahead and shut the laser back off, so M5, enter, and now our laser is off. And I can start to dial up the current once more. So this, um, you shouldn't have to worry about turning it up too high because the current is not going to pass 2 amps anyway because you're limited by your voltage. So I'm just going to turn it up until I feel that it's about right and you'll learn as you go really it's all about trial and error exactly how much this needs to be done so this should be that should be about good okay so we have our current set we have our laser adjusted to where we want it to be and the files are loaded on the computer here so we're good to go time to start the cut Go ahead. I'm gonna set this guy down right here where you can see what we're cutting. Go ahead and turn the laser on. So we go back to file mode. You should already have your file loaded in here. And all you have to do is click send. Here we go. Now a hundred millimeters per minute is very slow. So, as you'll be able to see in the video, um, this is going to take a while. So, we'll speed it up and I'll be back to you as soon as this guy is done burning. One thing that I would like to mention how dangerous this laser is for your eyes. 
you have to remember that at max power, you're ruining air out for the Wii watts. Um, even just the glow coming off of the waist itself can damage uh, your eyes. So you want to make sure you're using protection when you're using this. Uh, what I use are laser goggles. These are specifically for uh, blue uh, laser light, so it's perfect for this laser here. Um, when you put them on, you almost can't see the laser whatsoever. So it allows you to really work with it without damaging your eyes. And you'll see that if you happen to look at that for even a half second while it's running, you'll start seeing blue spots in your eyes, and that's not good. So just as a fair warning, um, don't look in the laser, and you would be wise to invest in some sort of glasses protection or even possibly a wrap in the laser in um, some kind of film. All right, guys. Um, this is going to take a couple more hours until it finishes up, and it is very cold out here. I think it's like 25 degrees right now. It's at the moment. So I'm going to let this run, and at the end, I'll put up a time lapse of it getting cut out and um, photos and all of that. But as for me, I am out. And if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment on the Instructable or go over to FamousMods.com and um, you can find out all about this and any other projects that we have going on at the moment. So thanks guys.